Hello and welcome to the last episode of Dredge Creek, in this short run that is, yes. I thought this time it would be sensible I'd come down to this to start doing the field edge. I've destroyed a couple of um, tree stumps, but I'm sure there's going to be more that do catch us out a little bit as we sort of go through doing this cut. I thought I've got to tie the loose ends up, so we've got a few projects. We have the oh rain when that's that could put a bit of a dampener on things. <laughs> yeah, it's a 106, and it is uh, oh are we doing this? yeah? Let's do it times three. Yeah, rather than times five, because I'm thinking that is a more like thing. So we've got the animal enclosure to put down, which seems to be ever growing. Um, we won't have time to put animals in but I'm not sure it's working I've tried it on another map and I cannot get it to work although I couldn't get any enclosure to work on that particular map so I'm thinking that was the map but I, I can't say for certain I've got it to work on another map a while back but so I need to test it further on a map that I know is definitely okay for animals but for now we're still going to put the enclosure down we're still going to get that area ready we're still going to chop this and we're still going to finish that little bit of a field off and hopefully go through to May morning so at least we've got some sort of uh, growth so I'm going to go straight into a time lapse and then we're going to have a bit of a chat afterwards I'm going to, there's a lot of work to do still even just doing this field it's quite a monster so yeah I am going to say my words it's by Lanticulma let me just check that's right I've actually got the web page open I think I'm saying it right it is by Laticulma, yeah, close, but so uh, yeah, so Laticulma, it's by, yeah, I've got, made the, got them the wrong way around the other day, I was thinking this was, no, not this, yeah, I did know this was not by, uh, but Black River and Harvest Me um, Valley, yeah, they were both by Zero or Two, it's been exceptionally busy, right, let's go into that time lapse, I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Right, terrible, absolutely terrible, but yeah, I've got to be honest, the entire situation, I knew it was going to eat me out of house and home, it was still not quite right, yeah, still bits that are a little bit below and a bit above, than, yeah, I've never been able to place this really well, ever, yeah, he, with levelling in advance and all the rest of it, because it is so large. But we are mainly on level grounds. That's all I can really say. We've fixed most of the deficiencies. It is a beautiful building. It really is. Yeah, with lots of different secrets and beautiful things. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's got three object storage above. I presume you can chuck. Yeah, even downstairs is not going to be right. Right. I'm not going to look in there. That would totally ruin my day. And yeah, put a bit of a damper on this beautiful building. I thought, um, yeah, I thought I oh, will eat. It's yeah, all my life. Yeah, we can we can sort this. We can. We just need to level it from this point inwards. Oh, well, of course it won't let you in. But, yeah, we should be able to see through the doors at this end where we just are though. That's doable. It is. I've forgotten about the inside level. From there. It's the money that's just going to be silly. It is. It's crazy money, this kind of thing that you would not. Well, it, it wouldn't happen in real life. It really wouldn't. Let's lower until we actually reach that and then we can then we can do the level that's better he says still not wanting to do it actually No, I was right first time. It is. It's too tricky to do. And yeah, I mean, yeah, we made progress. Hey, this side is absolutely spot on. So it's just that being at the door, which for some reason it won't let me do. So, yeah. I would in real life get a shovel and uh, fix that. You also ruin the field. I hate that when you do that. When you flick the tool and it goes on the field and then you've got to do lots of work. It, I'm not. It's it's tough. I, yeah, what... Sometimes um, I have a horrible COVID week this entire week, so a little bit of a field being slightly ruined, I can cope with. Yeah, loads of wood chips. If we were staying, we would seriously have a shed load of uh, wood chips, which we know we can't sell them on the map, but we would make an absolute fortune without all the way in it. Yeah, I'm, I know it's finished. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this, set this one going, and then we're going to grab it with the fluffy mods, but we needed the JCB for that, so I thought, well, so let's set this go. Oh, no, we, yeah, I need, this is all manual. I did expect it to be a bit not quite standard. It's not a standard map. It is a build your own fields, so therefore it's not going to be, but we are going to finish this, I am determined, so I'm going to manually do this. So I'm going to go back into that time lapse. Do apologise. That was it was awful. That was, but I knew. I mean, look at the money that we've literally gone down. It is enormous. So I'm not sure how well we'll do from this, which is probably going to be the very final job. Really gathering the grass in. I would like to go through till tomorrow to see the results of our hard work. But I almost say my words, and we'll see you guys and gals on the other side.
Right, reasonably happy with that. That is, a, isn't it amazing where the money goes? 130,000, we were 300 odd grand, all shy, 5,000. Amazing, it really is, yeah. We've done everything. I would like to plow the foot, but I realise today, the time, yeah, time has escaped us, so we need to check to make sure there's enough water to do the, uh, yeah, the business till tomorrow. We would obviously, I'm quite happy with this. It's, it is an absolute mess, and yet the level's right as you come through here. That's as good as it's ever going to get. There's too many levels fighting each other, so really, it's the best of a bad situation. This still works, that still works. Obviously, we know about the, but I can't, yeah. Look at that. 512 tons of wood chips. I don't think I've ever had that much wood chips on a Let's Play, so that is quite phenomenal. Grass, 76 tons. Um, why is that not? Oh, because we have taken part of the field away. Yeah, I'm reasonably happy with that. As happy as I can be. Yeah, so I would like to... Because this map has all been about fields, gra grabbing fields from nothing. So I would like to do that tomorrow. The last job that we do, which is to literally get this ploughed so we can see it in all its glory. Well, I suppose... No, no, I don't want... Yeah, I'm not trying to rush, rush. I don't. I want to do this justice. That's why I wanted to destroy and redo the um, cow place because I just don't want it to be a always oh, rushing. Yeah, all that. I just want to do it as it should be done. I'd like to see that field. Don't know about destoning. I just want to see it and scan it because every farm's have got unfinished projects uh, that it's going to do next year. Increase the size of that field, but I would like to at least scan and prep the field where we do get the. Uh, Yes, I think I left it over, yeah, because we were in a rush. So we need to go grab that for the morning. We'll set the course. In fact, I suppose, could be one of those jobs we leave going overnight when the rain stops. So if we rush, get the course ready, to go till all of the rain has rained out, and then we'll set it going overnight. I mean, it'll only give me a very, very slight yeah jump we fix the damage to the field so that's all good it is here yeah i thought it was um oh yeah no yeah that is right it is elaborate fields because it always switches off when you drop it yeah, I mean, the thing that I'm happy with, I mean, we there's a lot of work gone into this. And there really is a lot of work when you're changing anything from, like, a tree place to a field. I mean, there's uh, so many. And I would imagine, if even for the farmers in reality, I bet you there's the odd tree stump that's, like, below the ground that they find over the years and curse that, yeah, they missed that in the beginning. I, I, it's, it happens. It's, uh, yeah, not an easy thing to change something when there's a lot of um, and I've got to be honest we all know that actually really removing trees is an awful lot harder than the um, even yeah the tree stumps they are an absolute nightmare in real life really are right so let's get this ready it's a strange looking thing now, again this might it's long we'll try to but I'm not sure I said, yeah, that's actually doable. I was thinking of clanging into the trees or going into the water. It was... Uh, right, brilliant. Let's just check that it has got a lag right field. So, limits fields, it has indeed. Right, let's rush through. Let this rain come and then go. Switch some lights on. You never know what time it's going to finish. Oh, it's not going to be a long one, I don't think. You were saying? Hmm. Right, let's set that going then. Uh, oh, and it is right near where we are. So 
make sure we go to hot. Why would you switch the lights off? It's 20 past 7 at night. Yeah, if anything can get away with it, even the workers handle this quite well. So, right, let's grab a little Merlot with the scanner. At the top, we will switch a few lights on because we are not that silly. Uh, he says, right, let's grab that. Yeah, all the rest of the field prep that you normally would do, we, we, yeah, we're not going to be able to do. But as I say, it's true. I just wanted to do it, Brad. I knew I'd got one more session left, and I thought I wants to finish the jobs that we'd, you know, like started. I'd, as in, like, finish to do the entire um, harvest. I've got to be honest. If we did stay, this we would make an absolute killing. We really would. It, it, yeah, oh, we're going to need that scanner. So let's drop that. Oh, oh. Well, that I didn't expect. I didn't expect to drop that fertilizer, it, but it, it's yeah, it'll, it's not going to hurt. It isn't. Oh, and it had got straps on. Yeah, I thought that. It, it must be strap support then. That's uh. Come on, slide down. That's it. Yeah, because uh, I'd had another. Not exactly the same thing, but really exactly. Yeah, the AGM is exactly the same thing, only it's a front loader. It's two. The strap support when the pallet is on the pallet is it doesn't it's non-existent. You can just slip and slide. So obviously it's got to be something to do with strap support not working the same in FS22 as it does in FS19. There's some better and some worse things between the two iterations, which of course are about to be. Right, let's. Now we can keep hold of that. I'm gonna scan the fields. Right, so let's leave him trundling. Not that it's gonna gain us a lot, but let's just check. Have we enough water? So we have the wheat field at the top, the canola field at the bottom, the massive oat fields, our original fields. I mean, we have done exactly what the map Latacuma, Latacuma actually wanted and what he stipulated in the um, the reading of the map, which is basically that although there are a few fields, they're, yeah, for contracts really, um, I mean, yeah, there are those up there as well. But the bottom line is the map is supposed to be played as we played it, which is to, which I think is probably why you were rewarded with fairly decent sort of scanned fields really so yeah I think I'm quite happy with that you can see how far he's got about halfway round one sort of um is, did we buy the bigger plow in our uh, no we just got the the single plow haven't we yeah we didn't get that far that we did all that I'm pleased with our equipment though we kept plowing the money in every single day into our businesses which I do usually do and then one day there comes a day when all of a sudden like grass 76 tons and want silage digestate have we got any water in we would need 35 tons of water no so we need to do that and that course we're doing the slurry one that also needs water we knew we ran out on the water for that one so, have we got a big water tanker now? I thought we had. Yeah, we have. I thought so. Right, let's get these little uh, ancillary jobs done. It's a big word, Mr. Smith, for this time of the day. Right, so we need to stick some of this in. Um, yeah, is the home brewed? I don't think it's got any space, has it? No, so we're going to need to stick this somewhere else no who will accept slurry I think this Ermatanas are absolutely quite stupendously amazing yeah obviously we did intend we might actually uh, yeah the Ermatana does liquids as well it's something I found out by mistake once right let, let's shift uh, we really seem to have reached one of those uh, there's too much clutter around oh 
So let's stick that in there, even though I know. Yeah, of all the things I was the most disappointed with on the Let's Play, it was really the um, making of the pellets. That was really disappointing. For how expensive that is, unless I'm missing something, really, I just don't know why you do it. As, is it because it's easier for your animals I'm not sure because it's certainly not for any monetary gain and I mean I've not been nasty but we're all in this for the businesses it, it, it is what stick that on grass because that is what we would be doing if we were actually yeah, sort of staying we would be next grabbing the stones I mean yeah we, there's a few jobs that we didn't get around to doing but that's yeah, because we're too busy doing the bigger jobs really so, oh wow, it's not doing badly actually. Um, water. Let's grab that. Let's fix that. It's quite funny actually. I've also gained this, not had this lorry for ages, and all of a sudden I've uh, had it on a couple of let's plays. So it's. Ooh, more, let's maul that, shall we? Oh, well, I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Oh, I'm still mauling it as well. No, I would never, never maul the uh, TARDIS liquid tanker, ever. It's uh, my go-to. Alright, let's see, can we... Please don't overload. Let's stick that in the... It is overloading. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. It's a gentle turn, or you're going to go in the water. Ah. You should know it's not going to make it easy on you. We'll buy the Bureau again, and we'll switch some lights on this time. Every minute that we're doing this is a successful. That was so funny sometimes. You press the buttons, they just like does it an extra one time right so let's grab no let's just pull it out of the way because we need to grab the water we need a lot of it really I suppose we could actually assist we could grab a little 20 tonner which should probably be enough to get us through the evening to do the little one really because it's going to be difficult in a little while that I should I'm sure I am right and now it does does water obviously doesn't like slurry uh, I know what we can do with it that little production shed there is not averse to a bit of slurry switch some light oh I have got my lights on yeah, I was gonna say the it's not got like work lights like a some although lorries not so much really I suppose apologies to the devoured trees right so now that we need to spin around without going in the water, preferably. Then we'll take the little 20 tonner. Well, we could fill out there actually, looking at it. Oh, no we can't, no we can't. I think I prefer, oh no, I've got to be careful of the nozzle. Yeah. This this beast, if you're underneath it, that's where it thinks you want to go. So let's go and go down the little bit of a headland that we've sort of left deliberately for this purpose. Even though it's a bit mottled. 
at least no extra things. I, I've got to be honest, it really did give me a kick up the backside. I hate it when I get those horrible where things keep going wrong and you know you're not imagining it. And yeah. Yeah, things like that where obviously the ground's taken back. There's bits here as well where it's sort of. It wasn't proper painted grass, so therefore the game will allow the worker to actually keep eating a bit of the field away, and it does cause such terrible issues. As beautiful as the map maker has done a job of it, it really can cause major issues. Right, let's get this tight like that. I should be able to fill as well. Oh. Yeah, we'll do at least, I should say, three. If we do, actually, yeah, if we come back, let's grab the big tanker. It's just going to take a little bit longer. We can then come back and sort of finish that. Right, so, if we... Spin around a little bit more and... Not preferably take the header out. That, that really is not the plan. Let's go a little bit more and then spin around a little bit more. If I'll stop double pressing the trigger, determine how to get that header. Right, so if we ooh, don't clock them, knock the building down. Yeah, I'm still not my best, I've got to be honest. I'm a bit, bit fingers and thumbs, as the old saying goes. Alright, so. We only need 35 tons in that. The production shed, did we need anything in that? I don't think we did. I think it was just the. Um, that, which is not bad, actually. While that's filling, let's jump and grab another one of those. Oh, wow, Ray's nearly finished. That is good news, it is. Now, one more, and I think that pretty much filled then, so that would be good for a long time. Yeah, because we were so busy that actually it began to slip a little. Because we were doing so very well as in like we're doing a lot of work as we can see those little fields like they're not little right let's grab that and stick that in there uh, just, I'm hoping we should be able to go a bit far out Okay. It is a bit temperamental, as in it is very close to not being right. So it's going to be, have one of those exact bits where you can only stick that in. Ooh, or maybe even. Oh, no, no, it was. It's very fine. Yeah, really small. That's it. That's, that's how small it is. It literally. be honest that is what we need to do so let's I think we're gonna go and see how Ray is doing I think we're actually gonna take over yeah we're gonna switch some lights on because it's a bit dingy really wow look at the stones how many tons of stones would we get off fantastic and then in the morning, we are going to scan the fields and see the final tally. Obviously, it's it's not an accurate tally, not this particular type. I can't believe they actually did this entire field while we was doing all those finishing touches. It's a lot leveler than I thought. There's a few nasty patches, though. I did just, yeah, here we go. Here's one there. I could sort of, uh, there's at least two or three like that that really need a little tiny bit of smoothing. We'd need to pour some soil in, in real life. Yeah, pull from the surrounding 
until it's sort of level, which is pretty much what you would actually do. Yeah, so any terrible patches we will... There was another raised patch as well at some point. But uh, not bad. It's a bigger field than you think. I've got to be honest, when this was proper grassed, it would be a very, very good grass field. It would would have done us as proud. I just wanted to do Latakuma, the um, Latakulma, I would imagine is the pronunciation. Justice on showing the beauty of the map and really what they wanted to have done on the map of creating fields and things like that. And I think we did that reasonably well and also left more than enough room up here for a really decent farmyard. It would be had I time. Yeah, it's the only trouble with the little runs. You F often run out of time to actually do those type of things. Right, we're going to scan it now. It's no different to whether we scan in the morning or now. So let's do it now, is all I'm going to say. We shall see what kind of field we are getting. I mean, the field prices are amazing, but I would imagine pioneering type places would tend to be where you're taking over from nature because they know there's a lot of work. It's not an easy little job. Not that I'm sure that that makes any bit of difference on... If it was a place where land prices were high, then it would still be high because it's land. I might do this in one if I think, yeah, that we will easily. Fantastic. It's been a pleasure to have this as well. It's a while since I've uh, had this jack of all trades. The little Merlot. It's, it is little as well, it is a beautiful thing. Yeah, so we've not got the stones up, but we've prepped the fields. And that's the biggest sort of thing, really. We'll have a look at the quality of the soil. And then we're going to go through till the morning, and then we are going to. Uh, pass the reins on to another farmer who is going to take over from all of our hard work and is going to do very well really they certainly would let's have a look how did all oh, perfect loam field absolutely beautiful yeah absolutely perfect loam as well so that would be a really cracking grass field it would work very well with the fields and Laticum is also rewarding the brave that actually do what he really, re you know, like what he was designed the map around, shall we, that kind of model. So let's go through till the morning. Let's just check we've got everything actually on sell as well, though, because it's no good. Right, so yeah, we are producing a bit of lime. Oh, a lot of lime. Oh, no, no, we're not. We've already produced quite a bit. As herbicide, we've produced two. That's going to give us our cash for the morning. The only business we've really got at present. We were always talking about doing the um, the BGA. Do we stick that down and actually? No, it's a pro it's a future project. We know we're not. I mean, it's been a steady cracking income all the way through this. Yeah, nope happy with that let's go through till the morning did we check you know we've not altered that it should be good it is eight o'clock till may morning and we shall see what we shall see i mean i'm not expecting to suddenly earn because we would if we were obviously if we were staying we would definitely be doing a um bga we know this so we would have done far better so absolutely amazing we prep the field would have been a huge grass field i would have liked to have stayed st stayed to do that let's just kind of have a quick look over the bridge that uh yeah I, I just wanted to see a bit of growth before i left on this so even if it's a bit of a long session i'm quite happy with that i just wanted to see our handiwork and yeah that was it really I would have liked to have done the animals, but yeah, again, we've... Yeah, I mean, I would have put the other 
plant back down as well really to do more slurry because obviously we know the wood chips themselves aren't worth a lot and there we go our beautiful canola fields looking pretty good pretty good and then our excellent yeah there's a few of, of these like divots on all of the fields which over time like any farmer you'd have a few tons of soil poured in and mix it about so here you wouldn't even know we've done that damage to that field so our field of wheat likewise the carpet of wheat is also nicely done and that is ready in the winter but if we were staying and we were going to put some animals in so yeah um, it's yeah. I mean, we spent a fortune on leveling and all the rest of it on that. So yeah, there's a bit of oh, it is that is a bit nasty. I think we'll smooth that. That's the one thing you can actually get away with, even with crops in the ground. So let's just yeah, like drag some soil from the surrounding area. So it's a bit. Oh, I know really we wouldn't do this now. I know. I know. There has to be certain concessions. We would have done that beforehand, but we were rather busy. And that is where we are going to leave our adventures on Dredge Creek. An absolutely beautiful map. Lovely idea. Uh, and in the middle of civilization as well. It's not a no man's land without any kind of uh, civilization. Even, yeah, I mean, I did e equally like the fact. Uh, yeah, let's look at the sales one last time. Ah, that's, yeah, just tag end from yesterday. Yeah, I even liked the fact that at the shop, Latakum had even thought about, yeah, he knew it was tight. So for the discerning amongst us, of which I don't class myself, there's a sort of escape route down here and across the top so you can escape with your big equipment so it's not just yeah because let's be honest really i mean you wouldn't want to be doing uh creating fields with the three meter plow on this map really would you really it's a little bit uh we didn't do terribly well for tractors but the two big tractors that we got enabled us enough you know, shows that even a team of three can actually seriously um do the work well us we also had yeah we did have a pseudo tractor, the Merlot as well, which did actually do quite a lot of some of the smaller tasks where you do need that kind of uh, thing. So really, we'll say four tractors, or at least, I mean, yeah, cause, yeah even the Bureau did very well for a long time. I've got to be honest, I was shocked when it could do the, uh, the wood chips as well as it did. I've known bigger tractors to... Much it just goes to show. I've always said this about the Bureau. When I had on had it on barracks, um, not barracks. There was another one beginning with B. It was one of the European maps, and it was bad and bruised. But that was the start of tractor you were given. So I did exactly the same on that. Stuck a front H or it had got one. I can't remember, um, and it did really well. It punches above its hundred horsepower, I think. So, but it is a cracker. But for the very last time. This is me signing out of Drudge Creek saying thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you can stick with me on all the journeys. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.